Whether it's playing in the sun and the heat, or the wind, the rain and the snow, us goalkeepers feel the full force of the elements. But how can you adapt your game to make sure that you are performing at the very top level despite the weather? My name's Connor O'Keefe, I'm a goalkeeper, and here on this channel, we do all things goalkeeping. Match day vlogs, inside training, goalie tips. But today, we're talking about weather conditions. We've all been there. It's the morning of the match, you look out the window, and your stomach drops. It's either swirling winds, torrential rain, a bit of snow, or you might be lucky and get a sunny, still day. But we know that they aren't very common. So what can you do to prepare for the game despite the weather conditions? Now I feel like I can speak on this topic because across my career I have played in multiple countries and I have played football in 40 degrees, I have played football in minus 20 degrees and pretty much everything in between. So I'm going to give you my tips and also the tips of a special guest later on in the video to help you come out on top regardless of the weather. First up, playing in the sun. This is the easy one, this is the one that we all like but there are things that we need to remember. If it's sunny, if it's still, it's beautiful weather for goalkeeping. But if it's sunny and hot, you need to make sure that you are hydrated. There's nothing worse than going out in a pre-season game when it's boiling hot and you haven't drunk enough fluid. Studies have shown that if you are dehydrated, your performance will drop, your concentration will drop, and that will affect your game as a goalkeeper. So things like this behind us, hydration drinks, extra important when it is sunny and hot. If you're playing in the heat and you're sweating a lot, you lose a lot of salts. Now, liquids like that are gonna help, but also making sure that you've had a good pre-match meal, which covers all the bases that you need to cover, can ensure that you don't lose too much salt and end up dehydrated during the game. Now, last point, playing in the heat often means that the ground is very, very hard. And that is something that us goalkeepers absolutely hate. So, I will recommend something like this. Now these are padded undershorts. They've seen better days, but they are unbelievable. And I make sure that I wear them all the time, even if the ground isn't hard, but especially during those summer months when it is very, very hot. It's got padding up around the hips, which is where I always feel the pain if the ground is too tough. These are from Decathlon, I think they're 20 quid, something like that. But they're brilliant if the ground is really hard because of the heat. Next up, the snow. Now I get loads of questions on this channel asking about how to stay warm when it is cold during a game or during training. Often as a goalkeeper, especially when you're younger, you might just be standing in your goal, freezing cold while the play is up at the other end of the pitch. When I was over in Sweden, I played in the snow a lot. The coldest outdoor training session that I had was minus 16 degrees and I regularly played games at minus 12, minus 10 and it is very hard to concentrate on the game if you're not keeping yourself warm. So one tactic that you need to use if it is very, very cold is move all the time. Keep moving, don't stand still. Even if the play is at the other end of the pitch, make sure you're jogging on the spot, sidestepping, doing dynamic movements to keep your body moving. That'll help to keep your core temperature up where it should be. Another way that I've found helpful is to make sure that I'm involved in the game all the time, that I'm talking to my defenders, that I'm helping them through the situations. Again, even if the ball is well away from me, making sure that I'm shouting, communicating, that I'm involved in the match helps me to one, stay warm, and two, not think too much about the cold. Next point is make sure you have the proper kit. Now I've heard some people talk about wearing gloves underneath their goalkeeper gloves, almost like surgical gloves. That's not something that I've tried, but I know some people say it's effective. For me, the proper kit means that I'm wearing proper underlayers underneath my kit, thick underlayers, which will help to keep me a bit warm. Now I don't like to do this in a match, but for training, wearing leggings or tights underneath your shorts are a great way of keeping your legs warm if it's super cold. On a side note, leggings are also brilliant if the ground is hard so that you don't get too many abrasions on your knees. So there's a free top tip for you. And of course, everyone's favorite, the snood and the hat. Again, not something that I'll tend to wear myself, but can be very useful if it is freezing, freezing cold in the snow. Next up, the rain. Now, some goalkeepers love playing in the rain. I love playing in the rain. I grew up in the Northwest of England where it rains all the time. So playing in the rain is nothing new for me, but for others, it is horrible and they do not enjoy it and they find it really tough. Now one of the points from before applies here as well. Keep moving all the time. 
don't stand still. If you stand still in the rain and the cold, it's gonna go right through you and it is gonna really affect your performance. So keep moving, make sure your core temperature stays high. Another tip for the rain, especially if you're playing on the grass, maybe wear longer studs. If the rain has affected the pitch and made it super muddy, the last thing you wanna do as a goalkeeper is slip when you're trying to make that vital save. So have a look at your footwear, make sure it is appropriate. If you're wearing metal studs, maybe add the longer studs in, especially if it's super muddy. You can also get wet weather gloves in particular, which are specially designed to help you grip in wet conditions. Most top gloves, like Calia, the brand that I wear, work in all weather conditions. But if you wanna be a bit more specific, maybe have a look at some wet grip gloves as well. One product which could help by Calia is the Aquavator Spray. Now this is specifically designed to help you grip more in wet conditions. It's a spray that you add to your gloves, clap the palms together, and it'll give you grip as if it were dry. It's a product that I use in training and in games, especially here in Macclesfield, and it is really, really good for adding that little bit of extra grip in wet conditions. And finally, the hardest weather condition for goalkeepers, the wind. I will take snow and rain all day above gale force winds. Trying to play in goal in a windy conditioned game is horrible. The ball's moving all over the place. You can't predict the pattern of play everything goes out the window when it's windy. Now there's not much kit which can help you. There aren't many different things that you can add to your preparation. But one thing that you can do during windy training sessions or windy games is make sure you are moving your feet. Footwork becomes key because the ball is moving so often, everything changes late on. Make sure you aren't planting your feet. Make sure you're always moving and adjusting to those little changes in the ball pattern. That way you can give yourself the best chance of making the right decision, making the save, taking the cross, despite the windy conditions. But don't just take my word for it. I thought I would phone up one of my GK friends to get their tips on how to face different weather conditions. Hello, mate. Hey, Carl, how's it going, mate? Very well, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Just got into a hotel room uh, on an away trip, so yeah. Big nice game. Quite... game tomorrow? Big game tomorrow. Yeah, obviously not many games left to go in the season, but yeah. So there's a count, counting them down. Hopefully we continue our bit of form. Yeah, no, I'm sure. We'll be watching out for it. Right, the reason I've called you is I want some pro advice on dealing with different weather conditions as a goalkeeper. So we've been talking about the heat, the snow, the rain. Is there anything that you can bring from your experience of playing in goal in those weather conditions that you could give to people watching? Uh, well, the worst by far is the snow. They, yeah. They, you can do apart from get cold and have to zero grip on their gloves. I think it would actually be impossible for a glove brand to design gloves for snow. Um, yeah, and we do get freezing cold. We have to keep moving. So. Can you remember? Can you remember a game or a club that you played at where it was the worst in terms of cold or snow? Yes, there are. There's, it springs up right away. Boxing Day at Sheffield United, we had Paul Vale away on their massive pitch, and the game was in doubt anyway. It snowed the whole first half, and at half time it was about calling it off. It was that bad. The visibility was horrendous. Wow. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it was the second half. I think we lost the game 1 0. I couldn't see beyond the halfway line. Did they get the famous orange ball out? Yes, they did as well, and it, it does no good. Uh, I mean, it just blended in anyway. It was picking up that much snow that it just had no chance of seeing it anyway. How about opposite end of the spectrum? Is there any time that you can remember playing in ridiculous heat? Any like pre season camps or anything like that? I love them ones. Oh, pre season heat's lovely for a goalie. Latex is designed for warm conditions. That's so, true. You know, I love the heat. Uh, obviously, I've done a lot of pre season trips over the years, Colin, and uh, yeah, no, I can. I can definitely say that I enjoy a pre-season game. It's normally a bit of ticker tacker as well, passing out from the back. Yeah. You always see a goalie short sleeves, arms out, bit of sun on them, lovely. So we can definitely put Mark Howard as the Dubai pre-season 35 degree type goalie as opposed to the Port Vale minus three snow goalie. Yeah, 100%. Get me to Dubai. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Appreciate the tips. No problem, mate. All Take care. See you later. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much to Mark for sparing his time. We are gonna get more goalies on these goalie tips videos. So let me know down in the comments who you'd like to receive some advice from. We'll be back next week as always for the next video. But look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, 
and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, speak to you in a bit.